What's up everybody, this is the Angry Jew, and I'm coming at you from the only place in the entire world where it makes sense and safe to talk about the absolute insane, loaded up with shit document that our fucking idiot congresswoman, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, or as I like to call her, occasional use of cortex, dumped on us because it's so full of shit that the only way to talk about it is on the fucking toilet. Now, in case you didn't hear, a couple days ago, our genius congresswoman, Octavia Cortez passed this thing in Congress that she's trying to get approved called the Green New Bill or Green Bill or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know if you read this document. It is the absolute most hilarious, deranged, insane, nutty document I've ever read in my entire life. And it is so fucking full of shit that there's no way that I could go on without telling everybody about this because it is hilariously stupid and yet this fucking nut gets to stay in Congress and even have a job after this. It's unbelievable. So first of all, in her grand new idea how we're going to change the entire world and we're going to fight climate change, her first idea is that we're going to get rid of air travel in 10 years. How are we going to get around to other cities quickly, you might ask? We're going to build a series of high-speed trains in 10 years. This is coming from a woman who lives in New York where they can't even build two miles of a subway track in 10 fucking years, and she thinks we're building a nationwide system of high-speed trains in 10 years. How are we going to get to places overseas? She hasn't figured that out yet, but I'm sure she'll come up with another brilliant idea. That's insanity number one. Insanity number two, I'm not even making this up, she wants to get rid of cow farts. Because as we know, cows emit methane, which is bad for the environment and global warming. So we're going to get rid of all cows and cow farts, and we're all going to eat vegan, and we're all going to be really happy, deranged people like her. We're all going to be healthy vegans, and no more cows, no more chickens, fuck all of it. We can't afford to, God forbid, have any more, you know, cow farts in the environment. And number three, and here's the real piastre de resistance, at the end of her crazy fucking lunatic document how we're going to have free health care and free education and jobs for everybody, she wrote, for people who are unable, and here's the kicker, unwilling to work. She wants to give money to people who are unwilling to work. Uh, excuse me, sir, on the street. Uh, would you like to get money for working or money for without working? Hmm, which one would you choose, sir? Gee, I wonder, why the fuck would anybody want to work if they could get money without working? And to the few people who actually do like their job, you think they're going to want to work knowing that their money is all going because she wants to tax it at like 90 fucking percent to pay for all this? It's going to go to people who are unwilling to work? Uh, I don't think so. You know what this document reminds me of, honestly? When you're in like third grade and your teacher is like, if you're the president of the world, what would you do to make the world a better place? And you come up with one of these shitty, crazy, stupid things when you're a kid. Like, oh, there's going to be money and jobs and everybody's going to be healthy and happy and we're going to get rid of all emissions and we're going to live in like a green world and be vegan together. There's no actual plan for any of this. Oh, I almost forgot the best part. As we know, every building in the United States, obviously, is not green enough for her. So, we're going to knock them all down and rebuild them all. All 150 building, million buildings in the United States, those are getting knocked down and all rebuilt within the 10 years. I don't know how. She didn't fucking say how we're going to get money for all this. But, magically, I'm sure the money will fall from the sky for this quadruple billion trillion infinity billion project of hers. But, God forbid, we have $6, million, $6 billion for a wall. Now we don't have any money for that. But we have money to build magic trains all around the fucking country. This fucking nut job. My only explanation for how this woman got into Congress, because I don't believe that the fact that she went around in the stupidest, dumbest district in the entire country in the Bronx and asked people if they want free shit, obviously they voted for her, that's not good enough. The only reason why this bitch is in office and why she ran, I'm pretty sure she's a Republican plant to let everybody that's in the center realize how fucking deranged the left is to give another free election to Donald Trump because people will see this and see, holy shit, this is what the Democrats are like. That's my only logical explanation for how this fucking bitch is in office. And now that we finish discussing this insane, full of shit deal that's so full of unbelievable crap ideas from an adult, grown woman human being who somehow is in power and position to make decisions for us, there's only one thing left to do. That should be the only logical thing to do with this despicable, horrendous, hilarious piece of paper that she shat out. And hopefully, soon enough, we'll be doing the same to her.
Anybody who voted for her, you should be ashamed of yourself. This is what you put into office just because she was against Donald Trump. Are you happy now? Anyway, fuck all of you. I'm the angry Jew. I'm telling it exactly like it is. If you don't like it, you can go fuck yourself.